Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. And next for the Angels, Gerald Raymond. Maybe not an elite level switch hitter, but still a guy. Some contact and just success as a hitter from both sides of the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, he doesn't get too big with the swing. He knows how to hit behind runners, and those are guys that can just smell that RBI. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Booyah! A solo shot. Home run number 15 on the year. And the Halos jump out in front. It's 1-0. He handled a pretty good changeup down in the zone right there. To me, that says he was looking down, and that's why he was able to stay on it so well. Knock it out. Gerald Raymond now at the plate, leading the American oh, League in homers coming into this that's one, having a monster Gerald. season. Here we go now, Raymond. one at a time. That smash towards center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The white fielder, number nine. Alonzo. Thomas. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit for the Angels. This guy with yeah, light man. tower power. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hassel gets his lead at first with nobody go, out. Not yeah, even close the there. And one and one. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. To the right side. That's a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, no outs. And stepping in is the speedy Alonso Thomas. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting now, your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher hey, and that release there, huh? point. Next pitch, not close, up high. Kicks and fires. That's through there for a strike. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Dave Hagan appears to be getting loose. Lima getting cranked up as well. No outs. Runners at first and second. And that'll load the bases. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches oh, and somehow Boogie found okay. a way to keep the bat on his shoulder oh, yeah. right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done yeah, it. Right. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move. DeAndre Musser will depart and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Dave Hagan on the pitch out of the pen here and he's on to deal with the bases loaded. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking yeah. about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. 
Javier Guerrero, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. Let's take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Let's go right here. And a pitch. On the ground, two ball. Quick feed to second for one. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Here's the second baseman, Jason Harvey. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. That's to third. Zips it across, and that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. All tied up at three apiece. Gerald Raymond getting Each ready right to now, hit. Listen, there's absolutely no Little reason piece. to pitch to this guy right here. Gerald. You nibble, you see if he'll Raymond. expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Martin brings it in, and there's two away. Up next to the angle, the catcher, Javier Guerrero. Javier Guerrero digs in hey, now. Right now. The switch hitter batting right. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The next offering misses, and the count is three and one. And now the lefty, now front, pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. At the belt and fires. On the ground right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now it's the second baseman, Jason Harvey. No one better. Clutch up right now. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next one just misses. And it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Out towards left center. Got it! Nice grab. And that ends the inning. Angels threaten, but leave them loaded. Still tied, three and three. And welcome back. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Gerald Raymond. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Right now. Adley back to work. 
Ripped into right center for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores and they have the lead. It's four to three. Not in time. He's safe. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. And now Alonso Thomas. The 2-1. And there's a ball. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And the right-handers 3-1. Popped up. Rodriguez on the move. And he makes the catch. One away. Now batting, catcher, Javier Guerrero. Here's the catcher to hit, Javier Guerrero. Runner on at third, one gone. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Next pitch has popped up. Rodriguez under it. And there's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little now bit and popped it up. Second base. Jason Jason Harvey will Harvey. hit next. The pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two outs with a runner at third. Stays alive. And a foul ball. Hey, your turn now. Keep it going. Come on. Tap back to the mound. He caught it behind his back. Oh. Nicely done for the out. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. Angels four, and the Nationals three. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And the final score here, 